Baymen who for years worked the waters off Long Island hope their future is as clear and clean as the water. 10 feet of water, August, you could look down and see the bottom. That's the first time in my lifetime I've ever seen that other than the middle of winter. Marine scientists successfully created special spawner sanctuaries in Shinnecock Bay to restore the hard clam population deemed irrecoverable after the 70s. What we've seen is a 1,700% increase in hard clam densities in the bay. The 10-year effort led by Dr. Christopher Gobler identified ideal conditions inside this lab. Doing the research to figure out where will the clam survive, where will the offspring go, Will they be able to reproduce successfully? And then replicated them in parts of the bay where harvests were essentially unheard of. In just a matter of years, millions of seed clams reproduced. The findings, higher clam densities led to faster rates of water filtration and a decrease in brown tide algae. This is an environmental win in that we've shown you can re bring back a hard clam community. We've improved water quality that's led to the ecosystem rebounding. With a survival rate near perfect for the hard clams and a lifespan of about 40 years, experts say the outlook is promising. We estimate there's been more than $30 million put into the regional economy from the harvest of those clams and economic multipliers like wholesalers and restaurants and tourism. Turning the tide hoping to also restore the oyster population and use this success as a shining example for other estuaries around the world. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.